Well, Germany has been a critical partner of the U.S. Uh, in Europe, and Chancellor Merkel in particular has been a close partner of the last two presidents in working through a lot of the issues of, of the global economy. So I imagine she'll want to talk to the president about how to make sure that trade remains open between the U.S. and Europe and to try and push uh, President Trump and his administration to take a more leadership role in the global economy more generally. On the other side, of course, uh, this administration is very focused on the bilateral trade deficit uh, with certain countries, in including Germany. And I imagine they'll want to talk about how important it is for Germany to have more demand-led growth in Germany uh, and not rely solely on, on exports. How, Ambassador Shapiro, is Germany likely to react to that? Germany has the third biggest trade deficit with the United States after China and Japan, and that's something we know President Trump is going to go after. Right. Well, clearly, this is a very important meeting for both leaders. They have a lot riding on it with respect to trade, also security, also with respect to Russia. I think what's most important is that they try to establish a personal rapport, a chemistry that would help them deal with some of these difficult issues. And if the president does mention the $65 billion trade deficit that he's been uh, bothered about with Germany, it's an opportunity for the chancellor to push back and talk about the fact that we want to grow trade both between the U.S. and Germany and between the U.S. and the EU as a whole. One way to do that is to try to rejuvenate the bilateral trade negotiations that were begun several years ago between the U.S. and the EU. Uh, Ambassador Froman, do you think that uh, Chancellor Merkel is more likely to focus on the trade deficit or on U.S. job growth? Uh, I believe German companies directly employ more than 800,000 workers inside the U.S. Is that likely to be uh, the most, uh, I guess, the highest card that she has to play in this conversation? I think that's right. I think she'll want to emphasize just how much cross-border investment there is and the role that German companies play in the United States, uh, both as employers and as major exporters. Uh, she's been very smart in bringing these CEOs uh, to Washington to talk about U how the U.S. is a major export platform. And that's why it's been so important for the U.S. to open other markets so that more companies like BMW and others will come to the United States, build product here, both for the U.S. market and to export all over the world. And I imagine she'll be encouraging the administration to, to continue down that path. Ambassador Sapiro, I wonder, I'm fascinated by this, um, this element of vocational training mm -hmm. and the degree to which uh, it appears we're going to, I don't know, are we going to try to take some lessons from Germany on this front? By the way, we're watching this chart of MuleSoft, which just opened for trade. Uh, we'll get to that in a few moments. Mm -hmm. But I wonder how much of that we intend to copy and what that says about things we have to learn from Germany. Well, again, we should be looking at how we can better balance trade, but it's not a question of simply eliminating a deficit. There's really uh, no situation where a country runs a surplus with every other trading partner. It's just not how trade is done these days with global supply chains. But what we can do is look at programs like the apprenticeship, which is not a new idea, but it's an important idea. How can we do a better job in the U.S. of training and retraining our workers so they can really have the skills they need to compete effectively in the 21st century? We have not yet done that effectively or as effectively as we could do, and this meeting is an opportunity to move ahead on that front. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.